Okay. So, I know I said I was going to update every now and then, but I kind of got caught up in my work and didn't have time to record videos, or screen captures, or anything. So, I actually have actually finished the game. And I'm relatively happy with it. My submission date was like two days ago, and I just deci I decided that I would just show you all the finished product, what it ended up as, and see if I could get some feedback on it. I don't know whether I mentioned this before, but this game was written in X and I with C sharp, and I know a lot of people don't like X and A because they're all very hardcore for C and C plus plus. Don't get me wrong, I love C and C++, but this was the university decision. This is what they said. It had to be written in X and A and C Sharp or Java. And let's be honest, I'm not going to write a game in Java. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the headache. So, this is my player class now, and as you can see, it is a lot longer than it was before. It is... Like, what, 730 lines long. And these are all my other files. There is a lot of stuff. Now, I have power ups and menus and NPCs and all sorts of things. And I'm sure you're probably getting a bit bored of me talking while you're looking at a code screen. So, let's play the game. I'm going to play it using the Xbox 360 controller because I just like it better. I'm going to play the game the whole way through so that you can see everything. Okay? You won't be able to hear the sound effects probably because I'm recording from the microphone so I'm not recording from speakers so you won't be able to hear it. But there is sound effects in there. And these sprites, the NPC sprites were ripped from the platformer XNA platformer starter kit and uh, they had to be completely resized because my animation wasn't running properly with my animation code wasn't running properly with the sprite se sheets that they had so they had to be completely resized right uh, let's play the game I can bring you through it here Alright, well, I want to bring it right through from the very start, so I'll just do it again, because I missed that first jump, and I always do, and it really annoys me. See? Every bloody time. Well, third time's charm. You know what? Fuck it. At the minute, you don't have any gun or anything. You can't beat them. Why is this run so smooth with Cam Studio? Hmm. Who knows? I will. collectibles, gems. Gems give you a power up in the sense that they are a boost to your points. And there's a gun! Oh yeah! And you can shoot now! And there's him dead. Well, I just want to show you what happens if I actually die. Well, I'll show you later on because I might die. Oh, there we go! <laughs> yep, see? I respawned and that's cool. So, Shoot. And you see this big NPC down here at the bottom? He is a shooting NPC, and you'll see a lot more of him. I'm shooting stuff at me. Pretentious bastard. Throw your health pack there. If you get. You have to hit him three times. If you get up to a thousand points, it will um, give you an extra life. Which is always useful. And uh, this power up here right in front of me is... See, that's me getting hit there, right? This power up right in front of me is infinite shooting for 10 seconds without reload. So I can just do this. And I'm going to go up and kill this one as well while I'm at it. Because it's much harder to kill him if you don't have it. It's nearly impossible to kill him, actually. And, I'm, and you run faster if you don't have your gun equipped, so that's also useful. And you can duck. 
Yeah, you can duck now. It's true. See how how much faster I run if I don't have that. Well, anyways, I thought it was amusing. And you can make jumps that you wouldn't normally make, obviously. There we go. Uh, I would have been very embarrassed to get my ass kicked at my own game. But there you go. And that's it. So I can safely say... It was amusing. It was a lot of fun. And I'll just take a quick look at a little bit of code now. Uh, this is my basic power up class. This is to make it hover. Basically it just moves it by a certain distance and uh, things that will be inherent from that would be things like the med kit which just increases your health back to maximum gives you a score bonus things like that um, you can see over here this is my breakdown of my screens menu and game classes is going to be all my screens and uh, the main screen manager is here and this is where you declare all the instances of these screens and I have a public enum up here so that you can when you can just set it to something and then it'll only update from that certain thing see if you see game state equals game state if game state is equal to game state that menu then only update the menu screen and then down in the draw function it'll only be draw the menu screen and that's for all of them that's pretty much the way you would want to do it and I would really like to go into de into a lot more detail about the code and stuff but um don't really have time on this video so I was just gonna let you know that if anyone wants to see a more in-depth code review of this I would be happy to make one and just let me know that would be pretty pretty cool to actually have someone that interested in it so anyway thanks for watching